social media uh, at that time. I'm sure you've heard a million times about how Twitter used to be so crazy and the, the humor was like really ratchet and just ridiculous. And, you know, you've had so many different times where you've seen, you know, people who are famous or in Hollywood or whatever, where some some tweet from usually around 2010 comes up and it looks crazy as fuck. And, you know, oh, yeah. admittedly, a lot of those tweets look crazy as fuck. But, you know, a lot of them were literally just like a, the most offensive things that we were joking around about at the time or like the craziest shit possible. Like really at the time, I probably had like 500 followers um, at that time because Twitter was like brand new then. So anything in any of those tweets, I mean, I'm I'm totally fine with re responding to any of them but i could give you examples off the top of my head like wax said uh like wax texted me he goes why'd you tweet let's fuck the kids <laughs> and i sent him a fucking clip from a comedy back then called uh eastbound and down that i don't know like probably not a lot of you guys seen it but it was really huge at the time and that was just a line from that show and you know it seemed funny at the time and at the time i didn't really feel like you know the, the whole idea of getting canceled off of like your tweets or even like anybody giving a fuck about anything that you said online was like completely foreign, you know? So like all that shit was really just jokes. I know a lot of people will be like, Oh, you know, like that, that shit was so offensive. That should have never been a joke, whatever. But I mean, pretty much all of it's like completely missing context. It's just not, you know, I, I, I have apologized for it in the past, but I also really don't feel like I have to apologize since, you know, that was shit that was just funny to us at the time. I can understand how it looks crazy out of context now, but really, I mean, that was just us being fucking yeah. drunk ass white boys laughing at some shit on well, Twitter look, back let, in the day. Let me give you an example. Let me give you Let's an example, go. bro. You go. got one that says, as attracted as I am to Jennifer Aniston and 10 year old girls. Come on. This was February 26, 2010. I'm I, I don't to, see the humor in it. Uh, what was it? Ten-year-olds? Or I'm, I, I've googled this before. Uh, here, I, I'll, I'll read it again. As attracted as I am to Jennifer Aniston and ten-year-old girls. Come on. Yeah, I feel like there was some story that was in the media at the time. Something about Jennifer Aniston and like a ten-year-old girl, or something. I can't honestly. I can't remember what it was at all. But it was like a reference to something that was in the media at that time, and. That's an unfortunate one because I can't even fucking remember what the fuck the joke was about. But, uh, yeah, you know, it was all just some joke shit at the time. Obviously, like, at that time, you know, I might have, you know, I might have only had like a thousand people following me. But it's like, if, if that actually was as offensive and if it, if it seemed that crazy out of context, then I'm sure it would have been a big thing then, too. It was just, I don't know. I, I can't even remember what the joke was, but it was something that was in the news at that time, honestly. Okay, uh, you know, I I'll read you another one. T-Rose, are you there, T-Rose? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read another one, because you had the actual file. I'm, I'm going through my screenshots right now. All right, give me one second. My bad. I got to pull it back up. Yeah, because the 10-year-old the, the girl thing, a lot of the jokes was revolved around young little girls. Um and uh, you know it's 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 it, and the and the and the order of it um, from the dates, you know it's it, it's it's strange. It's like there's a period of time where that, a lot of your jokes was revolving children. And, yeah, I mean, I feel like that the, was probably the period of time where we felt like we could joke about whatever we wanted on Twitter without people getting mad about it. And then over time, it just became more and more of an obvious thing where it's like, oh, this shit actually could be seen out of context and taken a certain way, you know? Yeah. Okay, we, I, I got, mean, like, I got two of them. I, I guess I'll just state the obvious, which is that I've never done anything with someone who was underage. I've never, uh, you know, I have a daughter now. I have a, a, a fiance that I've been with for five years. I've never had any kind of, you know, issues. Nobody ever accused me of doing nothing like that. Uh, so, well, yeah. well, well I, mean, I, I, I did find something of two women accusing you of something, but I, I'll get to that. Uh, right. But that, that, that's, that's, that was grown women saying that. So that's uh, that's what I'm saying specifically. Like that wasn't it's not like anyone's ever said that I did something with a 10 year old girl or something. It's just, you know, that's oh, yeah, no, no, that, that crazy children. out of context, honestly. Yeah, all right, T-Rose, go ahead. Re re read those two, T-Rose. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these two is the one that, that, that kind of got me. Um, this one says, quote, getting raped is just part of growing up. 
Is that was that in quotes? That's in quote. I, I, I sent all these to whack, and that's number 17. Yeah, see, I mean, when I see the, the quotes around it, that makes me realize that I was quoting somebody else. Even at the time, I wanted to make it very clear that that was something that somebody else said and not something that I was saying. Now, I wish I could remember uh, exactly who said it and I could explain the whole context of who we were poking fun at or who said that or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, if it was in quotes, then that makes it even easier for me to just say, hey, you know, that wasn't something that I was saying or a message that I wanted to put out there into the world. It was probably just us laughing at somebody else who said that. Okay. And this one right here is just, it's just a tweet that you sent out. So you're saying you wouldn't suck 11 year old's dick. Whoa. Yeah. I mean that again, it's like, I remember somebody saying that to a girl that we brought home from the bar and I don't remember why, but I just remember that like, it was just some fucking conversation where somebody said that to a girl. They said, so you're saying you wouldn't suck an 11 year old's dick. And it just seemed funny as fuck in the moment. But I mean, it was a joke. It wasn't like, it wasn't like the girl actually was saying she sucked an 11 year old's dick. It was just somebody kind of poking fun at uh, somebody else who, or I don't know, they were giving a girl a hard time or whatever. Like, I don't even remember the context of it, honestly. Well, well, a lot of these, they go back from 09 and 2010, and even not knowing the context of it, you know, here, here's another one. I would rather bang a 15-year-old in the ass than be president. I would rather bang a 15-year-old in the ass than win the lottery. Yeah, well, that's uh, in quotes, right? Uh, Yeah, it's in quotes. Right, so it's like somebody else had said that, you and said we all it. were like, we thought it was so crazy that they had said that. Like, obviously, the person who said it wasn't, like, saying it in a literal manner either. But yeah, that was just like something that somebody said. And at the time but, but I remember like a big retweet. Sorry, it's not, oh. re it's not a retweet, it's a direct tweet. I don't think no, it's, it's, it's in quotes. They're like there's a reading. quotation mark before and after the sentence, right? Um, yeah, it is I'm, quotations. Right. I mean, that, that was, I remember like a big thing for us at that time, and it feels crazy having to explain this all these years later, but a big thing for us was like, we all had the notifications on for our phone. So we would all be like at the bar, we would all be hanging out or whatever, and somebody would say something crazy, and then somebody would tweet it immediately because all of our phones would buzz at the same exact time. And I just remember that like that was a big thing for us at the time was just saying the like putting shit in quotes and just saying the most offensive shit, whatever. So you think yeah, that's you know, I know it looks crazy, but it's also like I really hope nobody actually thinks that these are like real things that, like so, i don't know like i i have to imagine that you guys don't even think that that's something that i actually said seriously right hey, hey reek hey reek hold on one we second don't, we, hey my bad my bad hold on one second oh um, hey everybody that's on stage we brought y'all on stage to, to vibe with us uh for now so right now we just uh, you know talking to adam so if 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 ceo talking or adam is talking or i'm talking if y'all can just stay muted for a minute you know what I'm saying, so we can get through this then you know we would greatly appreciate it um, hey, Rick, I just have one tweet that I just want to say. I just want to ask him. Um, it wasn't during bar hours or nothing like that. Um, it simply just says, let's fuck kids. And this was at 3.30 in the afternoon. That's no the one I already months. explained. If you go to YouTube and you search, let's fuck the kids, it'll come up right away. It's like a, there's a line from a comedy that we thought was really funny at the time. So, I mean, you could watch like a two minute clip and understand the, the joke, but it's from this famous TV show that nobody really remembers anymore, apparently. Okay. Um, you have one, no quotations, right? It says, I would, I would almost rather sexually harass than have sex. Right. Yeah. That was a joke. You know, I, I part of that joke I remember was a reference to there's this old song uh, that we used to think was hilarious back in the day where the name of the song was I got an office job for the sole purpose of sexually harassing women, which is obviously terrible. And, you know, especially in this modern day uh, age, that's like comes off as like the most terrible thing ever. But, you know, at the time it was like everything was just fucking offensive ass, edgy humor. And like it almost makes me wonder with you guys, like what like I personally think that cancel culture is bad i personally think that the world would be better if people felt more comfortable making offensive jokes or if people felt more comfortable joking with their friends and bringing that to the internet without getting torn apart for it or whatever so you know i am happy to sit here and explain every last one but i also just like want to kind of explore what the desire to even like 
talk about 10 year old tweets is like, obviously if there was something in my because, life, because we're offended, we got kids, we offended, we support no jumper. We watch it. We, we I got we, kids too, but I still understand yeah. like the concept of a joke or the concept of an edgy joke, you know, and I understand is, why you is, guys want context. But let me tell you why we're, let just, me tell you why we're concerned though, right. because even though you say that these are quotes and shit from other people, you, you, you put it on your thing. So even though you can put it on everyone's shows, movies, comedy skits, you thought something, you thought that was great to repost that. So I don't give a fuck if it says, oh, killing little babies and doing this, that, and the third is fun. Oh, well, that's a quote from Aleister Crowley. But you're, you're, you're obviously putting that out there, letting it be known that you find either it humorous or you think it's cool. I would rather no, yeah, I say, thought it was, you know what? I thought I was, it was funny you know, at the time, like, just like I'm explaining, you know, at that time, I mean, I could find tweets from all your favorite celebrities that are way more offensive than anything that those same people would say on social media these days. I feel like everybody has learned to just not say anything even close to offensive because everybody is so quick to cancel you or whatever. And, you know, I'm the same way where I might think that some shit is funny and I just won't tweet it, won't say it on the podcast, etc. Because everybody just knows these days that everybody's thirsty as fuck to cancel somebody. So, you know, I get what you're saying. But at the same time, like, are you accusing me of fucking doing some crazy shit like in those tweets? Or you might not think it's funny. And I agree in retrospect, of course, it doesn't seem funny. But I'm sure you, like, understand the concept of me thinking something was funny in a completely different world 12 years ago, right? Well, I, I've accepted that white people have a different type of sense of humor. Um, I've, I've hung out with white people. I've, I've watched certain movies and, and the sense of humor is different. And I even said that when we first discovered it, I said, you know, whack, you know, they got a different sense of humor. They, you know, they even play with the gay shit sometimes. Like I, I noticed they, they even find some sense of humor in that. They don't really be gay, but they, they sex play each other and, and, and do little weird shit. And, and, and I'm just looking at it like, you know, even though a lot of these is from a long time ago, you know, our biggest concern is, is, you know, when, when these type of situations get discovered and, you know, the person, yeah, even if they've changed, you know, Justin Bieber, he had that one song where he was like, nigga, 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 nigga. And they're like, well, you know, he was 14 at the time. They said, you know what? He's grown. He's, he's reading the Bible now. He's got his wife. He's, he's being a father. Like he's out the way. So people are like, okay, he was a kid. But when, when we see someone uh, like you and uh, that, you know, is successful at what he's doing and we see these type of tweets that were going out you know it makes us question like like are, who are we supporting like are, are like some people like i made the the graphic ptr right adam with your picture on it that that's okay. our uh, that's our profile pic some of the members didn't want to wear it you know what i mean i made it uh you know to show support if you come in, uh to the app and, and come into the room to talk to us but some of some of them didn't want to wear it because they're like man i want to talk to him first um I, I knew you weren't going to come on here and say, yes, I used to uh, like little kids. I, I knew you weren't going to say any of that, but they still was it, it, it was still a conversation that needs to be had because I don't want to support someone if they think that a child being taken advantage of is humor or a woman being raped is humor or uh, like if, if someone <clears throat> thinks that's funny, I don't want to support that because I have kids and, and I I wouldn't support anybody like that and, and, and know that I have kids and know that I have nieces and I've been a kid before because that's the type of humor, dark comedy that I'm definitely not into, nor, nor, nor do I think anyone on stage or on this panel will say that they're into that. Uh, we have women that were highly offended. And even though I told you about those two women who made the accusations, right, even though they're not underage, it still ties into, you know, this this sexual type tweets. Um, whether it's referred to as, as children or if it's referred to in regards to rape, it's still something that's highly offensive. And, you know, for people to see this now after, you know, supporting No Jumper for so long, it's like, why the hell wouldn't we want to address it? We're, we're, we're not saying, oh, shut it down and, and, and right. get the hell up out of here. But we're definitely like, well, shit, we fuck with you. And you bring so many black artists and entertainers into your platform and chop it up. And so, you know, automatically that's going to draw a lot of minorities as well to come um, and check it out because of the people you talk to. So nah, we definitely make yeah. sure that, you know, that everything is 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 good because we, we are, you know, supporters of it. For sure. And I mean, I, I that's why I'm here in the first place is because 
Like, I told Wack at first, like, nah, I don't want to do an interview about it because that shit first, like, got exposed online or whatever in, like, 2018. And I feel like I spoke on it then. And if anybody wanted to see an explanation at the time, they could have gone and seen that. But I'm, you know, I don't feel like I have anything to hide. Like, the only thing that we're talking about is me thinking some shit was funny, uh, what, like, 12 years ago. So, you know, I feel you. Like, I understand why you would be upset about that because, you know, as a father now, there's shit that I joked around about at that time that I would never, ever dream in a million years. Even like, you know, there, there's been things like jokes people made to me on the podcast about my kid or, you know, sort of just like referencing children in some way that I had to like tell the team like, nah, edit that out. Because I look at shit way different now. And, you know, all the dark humor shit, I feel like when you're younger, like a lot of people would point out like, oh, you were 27 at the time or whatever. Like, that's true. But I also was like, hanging out with all these 19, 20, 21 year old kids. Cause I was running a BMX team, you know? So, I mean, I really like, don't like, there's a big part of me that is just like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. If people are offended by some shit I said in 2010, it is what it is. But at the same time, I hear what you're saying. And I want to come in here and just make it perfectly explicitly clear what I stand for, especially cause you know, I got all these different dudes who probably look at those tweets like T-Rail or AD who look at that and they think it looks crazy and they got kids too. And I'm sure that they <clears throat> know me so well that they don't even give a fuck enough to be like, oh, Adam, explain this. But they all know that I got an offensive ass sense of humor. Anybody who's watched the No Jumper show knows that I'm always pushing the line, that I'm always trying to, you know, make a joke out of something that nobody else wants to joke about or whatever. That's kind of like my <laughs> whole personality is just to push the the limits of what we were allowed to joke around about or whatever. And back in 2010 on Twitter, there were no fucking limits. There was no rules. You could post anything on that shit and people would just laugh their asses off. And I'm sure if I looked, I could find all kinds <clears throat> of crazy examples, but you know, it, it, it's, I want to get both points across, which is that, well, the main point is just, I want to get across. Like, I feel you. I understand why that shit looks crazy and why it's offensive. But you know, again, it, it was just jokes at the time. And a lot of that stuff I regret, and I'm, I apologize to anyone that does offend. But at the same time, I mean that it's not—they were never meant to be taken literally, and it was all stuff that I was probably tweeting at two in the morning, drunk as fuck for the most part. Just that's what I was about, about to say, shit. bro. That's huh? what I was about to say. I, I, I look, I'm a good, pretty good judgment and character, right? <clears throat> so one thing I do know is, like, I know you. I know, I know where you at. I know where your heart at. I know how you. You know how you take care of your family and shit like that. How you are around other people's family members and kids and, and, and women and shit. And, and none of that is you. I'll say this. Once upon a time, I said a bunch of offensive shit too about motherfuckers that dated. I called my comrades and my brothers because they wore a blue rag. We right. talking 10, 12 years ago. We talking about when niggas was jumping on social media trying to find a way doing shit back when niggas was planking and laying in the middle of freeways. <laughs> and doing all anything to get fucking attention, right? So, and I told Reek, I said, Reek, I ain't gonna front a young Adam. That nigga probably was on shrooms, high as <laughs> a motherfucker, and on some just saying anything. I said, what I what I do recognize is this: he never went back and tried to delete shit. That's why I was there to be found. Mm -hmm. And I and I and I and I, and I, res and I respect uh, I respect you apologizing and and answering these questions, man. Uh, um, I got to do that you know, as a dad, you know, because I'm gonna be yeah. real with you. Like, like my day was oriented around my kid. Like, I woke up six o'clock in the morning so I could play with my kid for a couple hours before I showered and went to work. I, I rushed home after work so that I could see my kid and give her a bath for like an hour before I hopped on this shit. You know, like. There's a big part of me, like Wack will tell you that when Wack had an issue with me before and we didn't see eye to eye, my attitude was basically like, all right, well, if that's how you feel, then it is what it is. And that's that's going at somebody who, from my perspective, is basically one of the most powerful people in the streets of L.A. And I still was just like, hey, if, you know, if you don't like how I'm moving, then it is what it is. I'm, Yo, that's there's a, there's why a tiny I part say, of me. Adam. Yeah, that's your character. Like, first yeah. I thought I'm like, yo, this motherfucking white boy flexing on me. Right. <laughs> but that was that's just you. You don't mean nothing by it. That's just you. Like it, you, you know, you got this cocky, oh well, fuck it, dude. But I don't, I don't mean no harm. But that's what it is. Type of personality. So you know, like 
I had to respect it. You know what I mean? And, you know, eventually, shit, you called me. Hey, what? Want to get to work? And, and, like, I was like, oh, he do fuck with me. And then it went from there. <laughs> but, yeah, what like, I'm saying is, like, I don't want to take that attitude towards everybody in this room of, oh, nah, like, I ain't apologizing for shit. Like, I get how that shit's offensive, and I wouldn't make those jokes now. And to a certain extent, I wish that everybody would just get it that at the time Twitter was way different. But, you know, I wanted to explain the context and everything just so people could understand where I'm really coming from. Like, my kid is my whole life right now, you know, like and there was never a time period where I thought that, like, you know, hurting a kid was funny or cool or some shit like that. But definitely there was a time period where it seemed like an okay thing to joke about, which I couldn't do that now. It hits too close to home. Plus, the Internet is a totally different place. But. You know, I understand why you guys want an explanation about that. I just want to make that clear that I'm not coming in on some cocky shit like I don't owe anybody because, an explanation, because, you know? Because I can imagine if someone made a joke about your daughter or your son, you, you wouldn't find it funny. And even if they were 20 and young, you, 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 you would no. probably highly be offended. No, it's up for sure. Yeah, so. Hey, academics uh, in it, here, I just, I just pinged them up. Oh, for real? Pinged them up so yeah. them another thing, hey, though. Fine, like, I had another y'all, y'all, thing uh, out of this, up. right? We go. The, um, I told him you're not a racist only on Wednesdays, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a black joke. I'm just fucking around with y'all. It was some black, it was some black jokes in there. You know, shout out to academics. I like when he's around because I know I got a fairly large head. Yo, whack, you a fool, man. I'm whack in the matrix. Academics, I got words for you, bro. Yo, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, act got brains, my nigga. Act got brains. That's why that nigga smart. That nigga got face out. 